Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ, and today I'm gonna to talk about the Google Pay app. Now, the Google Pay app has been out for about two years now. It came out in 2018, but recently, about a month ago, they made a lot of updates to the app, and that made it more intriguing for me to actually use myself or to actually think about using it, and so I wanted to talk more about it today. And so if you haven't used the Google Pay app before, I will have a referral link provided below. When you use my referral link, you will receive a $10 bonus once you spend $10 using the actual app. So make sure you use that referral link and also send that to your friends and family so that they can start to get to use the Google Pay app for all of the features that I'm gonna talk about in this video. And so when you first open up the Google Pay app, what it takes you to is the home slash pay page. And from this page, what you can do is you'll see a people and a business section. Now with the people section, any transactions that you have made using Google Pay, they will show up here. So that's whether you're transferring money or receiving money from any friends or family members, people in your contacts or you can search for people in your contacts who you would like to send money to. And you can either use someone's email address or you can scan their QR code, or you can also create a group within this area to where, let's say if you're going out to lunch or maybe there's a big purchase that you're making with your family and you're all splitting it, you can actually create pay groups that are automatically saved within the Google Pay app. That way you can split those purchases. So next is the business section. So any transactions that you have made with the Google pay app will show here and below that section is the discover section and so in the discover section you have three categories the first category is the order food section and so once you click on order food it'll essentially load google maps to show you the stores or the restaurants around you that accept google pay as an option to pay for your food and you can choose to either pick up or to have the food delivered to you depending on the restaurant and so in my own area when i look at the list of restaurants that you can actually pick up orders by making the payment through Google Pay. There actually weren't that many, but there were a lot more available in the delivery option. Now I'm assuming because the Google Pay app technically is still in beta mode, even though it's been out for two years, but since there were a lot of upgrades in the last month, and depending on what area you live in, there may not be as many options for you within your area. And so I live in a medium-sized city. If you're in a bigger city, maybe like New York or San Francisco, Atlanta, Houston or Chicago or some large metropolitan area like that, you may actually have a lot more options than I have in my area. And so just because a restaurant shows up in the pickup option doesn't mean that it will also deliver and then vice versa. So as an example, Burger King is one of the options that you can actually choose for delivery. And I'll talk about Burger King a little bit more later in the video, but you can not actually order through Google Pay and pick up from the store. That is not an option. And so once more people start to use the Google Pay app, I'm sure there will be more stores that will provide that as a payment option, which means more things for you to choose from and more ways for you to use the Google Pay app. And so the next option in the Discover section is the Get Gas option. And so just like the order food option, once you click on Get Gas, it will open a version of Google Maps to show you the gas stations that are around you that also accept Google Pay as a payment option. And so one of the apps that I use for purchasing gas is GetUpside. It's a great app for you to earn cash back and also link your cash back credit cards too to make, to make sure you're stacking your rewards that way. And what I noticed between uh, GetUpside and the Google Pay gas options is that they were pretty much totally different. I'd say about 90% of the gas stations that show up in Google Pay do not show up in the GetUpside app and vice versa. Although some of the same gas stations, depending on where you live, those gas stations are available in both apps. So both apps may show you ExxonMobil or may show you Shell or BP, but it doesn't necessarily mean that every gas station in your area will show up on both of the apps. And so this would actually be a good way to compare the offers that you see in the Google Pay app versus what you see in the GetUpside app or maybe another gas cashback app. Now the next option within the Discover section is the pay for street parking option. And with this option, of course, you're gonna use Google Pay to pay for a parking meter on the side of the street, or maybe a parking lot that accepts Google Pay as an option to pay. And Google Pay is working with an app called Passport Parking. And so if this is an option in your area and you need to pay, for parking on the street or in a parking lot, then you can use the Google Pay app. This is a lot better than 
trying to make sure that you have change or once you start to park and you realize you don't have any coins and you're not able to pay. Now there are some parking meters that now accept credit cards but not all of them do. And so in the past what you would have to do is either make the decision that you're going to go and get change if you didn't have any at the time or try and park and then get change and come back. But more than likely you're probably going to get a ticket during that time period that you're actually going to get the change. Or if you go to get the change first you'll probably lose that parking spot because someone else will take it. And so now this prevents you from having to do that. You can use your phone and use the Google Pay app, or if they happen to have a credit card option, then you can use your credit card to pay. And then last but not least, at the bottom of the home slash pay section is the invite option. And so once you've signed up using my referral link, if you wanted to invite any friends or family members, you can click that invite button, send them a copy of the link for your referral, or you can email them to send that information to them. So the next section, if you look at the very bottom of the Google Pay app, on the far left is the explore option. Once you click on explore, this will give you the options for cash back. And so this is probably my favorite section of the app. If you've watched any of my videos in the past, you know that I do reviews of cashback apps and cashback credit cards. And I also show you different ways that you can actually stack different cashback apps and cashback credit cards and stockback apps. That way, every purchase that you make, things that you're gonna buy anyway, you can actually get money back for all of those purchases. And so this is one of the main reasons that I would use the Google Pay app is to find different ways to earn more cash back. And as I mentioned, if you were to use my referral link and you actually spend $10 using the Google Pay app, you will get a $10 bonus for spending $10. So essentially you have one free item that you could buy as long as you spend over $10. But once you click on this explore section, it will show you all of the different cashback offers that the Google Pay app is currently providing. And the first section they have is the Google Pay favorites. And so these are options that other Google Pay users have used very often. And the first offer that it shows is an offer from REI, which gives you 20% cash back on your purchase. Now the max that you can get back with this 20% cash back offer is $50. And so that means in order to max out this cash back, you would need to spend at least $250 and then that would give you $50 cash back if you were to go into REI. And if you've ever shopped at REI, then you know that there are some pretty expensive items there. You can definitely spend $250 very easily. And so if that's a store that you shop at, you may wanna try out the Google Pay app before the next time you go to REI. Now with these offers, they do have expiration dates. So if you click on the offer, for instance, with REI, this offer expires on January 15th. And all of the offers provided in the Google Pay app have a maximum time of 45 days. And so depending on when you actually see the offer, it could you could have 45 days to use that offer or whatever the expiration date, if it does provide you a specific date, whichever time is shorter. And so for REI, if you were to use it now before January 15th, you would only have about 20 days based on the day that I'm actually recording this video. But if the offer that you're looking at doesn't have an expiration date, then you know that that offer will be activated. Once you click on the plus symbol for that specific offer, you have at maximum 45 days to get that cash back offer. Now I mentioned previously that I was gonna use the app to make a purchase at Burger King because Burger King also currently has a 20% cash back offer. And so that's an easy way. You can easily spend $10 at Burger King. You don't really have to think too much about, you know, if you wanna buy a shoe or a t-shirt or something like that. If you're hungry, Burger King is a place that you eat. That's a quick way for you to get that $10 bonus just by spending $10 at Burger King. And if you can't eat $10 worth of food at Burger King, take a friend out to eat, and you're pretty much gonna get that $10 back anyway. So if you can't spend $10 by yourself, take a friend or a family member, and then both of you guys can eat and you pretty much make your money back with that referral bonus. But 20%, that's a really great cash back offer. There aren't many apps that, even during the holiday season, that will give you 20% cash back. And so these are great offers. Of course, not all of the stores that are available in the Google Pay app give you a 20% cashback offer. And so as I scrolled through the app and I looked at all of the different stores, I saw that most of them were at least one and a half percent cashback and they could go up to as high as 20%. And I would say on average, just taking a rough estimate of what I saw as I scrolled through the app was that you probably get about four or 5% cash back on average with the different stores that are available in the Google Pay app. And the different sections within this area, you can search for stores that are nearby. So of course it's gonna use your location to show you what stores are nearby where you can use Google Pay to pay, but also receive cash back for those purchases. Uh, there's a section on top savings that will show you the offers that have the most cash back. 
and all of the offers in this section are at least 10% cash back. And then you have a top picks and retail section and then explore more offers. And so under each of these titled sections, there's an option to view more. So if you click on view more, it'll show you more stores, but there's actually a way that you can search for specific stores. What you would have to do is go back to the main home slash pay page, and then you can type in the store that you're looking for, or you can type in a product that you're looking for like shoes. And so the actual search option within the home page, it's surprisingly doesn't work that well. Once you consider that it's made by Google, Google is the king of search, you would think that the search option would have a similar experience to what you get when you do a normal Google search. But once I typed in Adidas, I was looking specifically for Adidas, it actually didn't show up as one of the first three options when you type that in. And so I had to click on more and then scroll down a little bit to then find Adidas specifically because they actually have a 10% cashback offer within the Google Pay app. But the first three options that show up when I type in Adidas are actually Dick's Sporting Goods, Foot Locker, and Journeys. Now, of course, all of these stores, they sell Adidas products. But if I type in Adidas, you would think that the first option they would show me would be an Adidas store or the Adidas website so that you can purchase online. So I'm certain that's probably something that they're going to improve on in the future because their search options should be probably the best thing that works within their app because they are the king of search. And so if you don't see any specific stores that you would like to shop at when you're on that explore section, then you can go to the home page and actually type in either the specific store that you're looking for or a specific product that you're looking for like shoes or t-shirts or furniture or whatever the case may be for you. Now moving over to the third section at the bottom right is the insights page. Now on this page, this is where you can look at your actual transactions, any transactions that you have made using the Google Pay app, but you can also link your credit card or your debit card. That way you can see your transactions from those accounts as well. And when you add one of those accounts, you can add this account just for tracking purposes. And so essentially it can kind of work like the mint.com app where you can just link all of your accounts and then you can have them all in one single view. Or you can just link it as a payment method so that way when you're shopping and you use the Google Pay app, it will use the credit card or the checking or a savings account of your choice. And so of course to maximize the amount of cashback that you're receiving with these offers, it will be best to link a cashback credit card or a checking account that may also provide cashback with your purchases. Now what I've been waiting for, and I talked about this about a year ago, there were rumors of a project that Google was working on called Google Cash, C-A-C-H-E, and that was supposed to be the Google checking account or savings account. They really didn't say exactly what it was gonna be, but they were planning on partnering with Citibank and Stanford Federal Credit Union, and now that option is almost ready. So you can see within this option, when you scroll down in the Insight section, you see an option for a Plex account. Now the Google Plex account, this is Google's, basically their checking account. And like I mentioned, they're partnering with Citibank as one option and Stanford Federal Credit Union as another option. Now Citibank is FDIC insured, while Stanford Federal Credit Union, because it is a credit union, they're insured by the NCUA which is an organization that specifically insures credit union accounts. And so you have the choice of choosing either one of those accounts. All you have to do is select which one you would like to sign up for as far as the waiting list, because there's currently a waiting list for the Google Plex account. You can actually sign up for both if you choose to, but currently there's not a lot of details as far as what perks you may have from the actual Plex account, what the interest rate may be when you sign up for one of these accounts. The only thing that they mention right now is that it will be a no fee account. And so in the future, once we have more information about the city or the Stanford Federal Credit Union version of the Plex accounts, I may either do one review to compare which one is better between the two. I'll assume that they will probably be pretty much the same, but if there are any differences, then I will do a video to talk about the differences between the accounts. That way you can decide which one you would like to sign up, or you can just sign up for both and then take advantage of whatever offers are available or that are different between those two accounts. But the great thing about the Google Pay app is that you don't have to necessarily sign up for the Google Plex account. You can actually connect your own debit card or your own credit cards to take advantage of the Google Pay offers 
all of their cashback offers and the insights that they can help you provide by managing or tracking your checking accounts and savings accounts and all of your financial accounts if you choose to link them to the Google Pay app. So that's a quick overview about the Google Pay app all of the new features and the new upgrades that they've made to the account. While it's still in beta mode, it looks like they're definitely working to try to be a competitor to the Apple Pay app, as well as a competitor to the many, many different checking accounts and savings accounts, the FinTech apps that have been coming out over the past couple of years. Now, one last thing that I forgot to mention is that Google Pay is not only available on Android, because of course Android is made by Google, but it is also available in the App Store for any iPhone or iPad users. So let us know what you think about the Google Pay app based on watching this video. If you're already a user of Google Pay, let us know about your experience in the comment section below. Also, if you're not already a user of the Google Pay app, I'll have a referral link provided below in the description, as well as the top comment in the comment section. Thank you for taking this time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you need to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you really like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.